Hi, I'm Dave Mendel with Northland Tackle. With fall upon us and people switching to hunting and so forth, it's time to put the equipment, fishing equipment away. I'll give you a quick demonstration of how to service your reels and get them ready for next season. Uh, to get started here, we'll go to, with a quick rundown of some of the tools and equipment that you'll need. First of all, I always like to work off of a towel, so as you're taking parts off the reel and you drop something, they don't bounce and end up on the floor. You need a dish pan or some kind of a container to put some solvent in to, for cleaning. I've had really good luck with Simple Green. It's a water soluble, it's easier on the skin, and it's easier on the environment. You need smaller screwdrivers to take the screws and stuff apart and on the bait caster you'll need a wrench to take the nut off. It's, this one takes a number 10 metric. Um, toothbrush works really good to clean all the parts up and when you start reassembling um, a lot of the parts that I put back in I use grease rather than oil so something like a white lithium grease works well and then just an um, an oil for um, other parts, bale springs and so forth. So let's start out with um, talking about spinning reels. They don't really get the work of uh, bait casters, especially for a musky fisherman. But the biggest issues with spinning reels is to not keep the bale spring oiled. Just a couple of drops of oil under both sides of these will keep the spring lubricated where it won't um, be as prone to breaking. If you would want to take the cover plate off, you just remove these three screws and you can get at the gears in there and you can put a little bit of a, like a white lithium grease on those. Okay, let's talk about bait casting reels now, particularly for the musky fishermen. They um, get a real workout and as I said before, always work over a towel as you take pieces off, set them off to the side. You can kind of keep track of the order in which they came off of again. Um, this isn't something that you really need to be afraid of you just take your time and okay then the handle comes off and there's a little spring underneath that back the drag off okay now we're ready we can take this this side plate off Okay, when you take the spool out, be careful of the cast or casting discs or brakes so that you don't lose them. Take the spool out, set that aside. Then we'll go to the opposite side and we'll take, there's three screws to remove. Okay, see this one has been greased in the past. So we'll just start tearing, tearing it down even farther. We'll take the screw out that um, holds this gear in place. I'll put that with the rest of these parts. This one will go in the solvent. I'll take this cap off That's of the level wind. And inside of there, there's a little piece called a pawl. It's what drives back and forth in the worm gear that allows the level wind to go back and forth. This is a critical part. If it's something that you're in a reel that you're using a lot, or if it's in a musky reel, when you go through the trouble of tearing these apart, I would replace this every season. So we'll just continue on, we'll tear this apart, throw it in the solvent. And this is where the toothbrush comes in. You, you take the frame and clean all the dirt, algae buildup that's on there, and we'll set that on the towel. Then we'll take the end, end cap, clean all this old grease and dirt out of it. This worm gear carrier is a place that catches a lot of dirt, especially with um, later in the season when you're fishing muskies, you start fishing in algae blooms. It's amazing how much of that stuff builds up on your reels. Okay, now that we have all the parts washed up, we'll take a second towel and we'll wipe that off and we'll wipe them dry. Okay, now that we've got this stuff cleaned, we'll, st we'll start reassembling. We'll start out with um, when bait casters are, start screaming as you're casting, it's because it's, it gets dry underneath this little little pin that holds this gear on. So put a little grease under there, 
that'll take care of that problem. So then put that on, put the screw back in. Okay, then we'll take a little grease and we'll put it in the bearing area and on the shaft that rides on that. Then we'll start to reassemble the frame and the level wind parts. Put the carrier and the lot in place. Then take the worm gear, put just a little bit of grease on this shaft, as for this rides in a bushing bearing type of deal. And also on this little bearing bushing and we'll drop that in, into place and then you put your new pawl in place you have to turn the gear a couple times to get it to drop in and put the cap back on that holds that in place okay we'll put a little bit of grease on this gear that drives the uh, worm gear a little bit of grease on this shaft that turns the spool and the worm gear with reassembling I would only just snug that screw up until you get all all three of them in okay now we have this end of the reel complete ready to go we'll um, try and straighten out this line we'll put the spool assembly back in the hole with a little bit of grease and on the shaft it goes through the frame and that end of the spool goes into that bearing carrier okay now on this end it's a little bit more complicated in here we'll take this there's two screws here we'll remove this part the uh, this is an anti-reverse clog on these older reels this is the main main ge drive gear. What normally would do is put this whole thing into the solvent, wash it all up, scrub it good, dry it. This one's pretty clean, so I think we'll just skip that step. The uh, most important part in in these is to clean this up and make sure that the the drag washers are dry and clean. So we'll take a rag and we'll wipe this clean. You don't want to put any kind of lubrication on there. It makes the uh, makes the drags work better. Otherwise, you start getting sticky. We'll put a little bit of grease on the gear, being careful not to put on too much, so that the overflow goes onto the drag drag discs. This goes back on the post. We'll put a little bit, a little bit of grease right here. And then with this anti-reverse clog has to go on this heavier coarser gear. That is a with time that is another item that will have to be replaced. Okay, now we'll take this end cap off. Look at well on. There's a little fiber washer there it holds grease we could take add just a little bit of grease to that screw this cap back on again and we'll put just a little bit of grease inside the bearing where the shaft will ride but most everything that you do here is using using grease rather than oil the grease will stay in place a lot longer so we replace these two screws Doing the same thing again, just snug it up a little bit till you get both of them in and then go back and, and tighten them about a quarter turn. This little extra tension on there will keep them from working themselves loose as you're using them. Okay, now put the drag back on or the drag adjustment this little springy the handle and then the e-clip
tighten that up just a little bit here, but we need to save a little bit of room or adjustment for this uh, nut lock. About the only area that I really use any oil on is a few drops on the worm gear and on the carrier. And with your workhorse reels like musky reels, it's not a bad idea to take the time and put a little bit of oil on them almost every day with a long day of fishing. To store them back your back your drag drag off so it doesn't take a set. And the only thing you need to do in the spring is to run that line out, run it out, and get it. To, otherwise, the line isn't going to line up with the level wind. But Taking care of your reels like this will last you a long time. So with that, the biggest, uh, most important areas are to keep the worm gear and paw lubed. On, th on this end of the reel is to keep the gears greased and grease underneath the drive gear for the spool and uh, level wind. And on this end is to take care of the main drive gear. And keep it uh, well lubricated and it will um, serve you well for many many years. Hopefully this has been of some help to you. It's um, kind of fun in fact to take care of your equipment and put it away ready to go in the spring.